Okay, what's up YouTube? Kyron back up in here with another video. Today we have the long-awaited proportions video dressing for your body type. Question that I've been getting a whole lot, how to dress for your specific proportions and build a perfectly cohesive outfit based on the beauty that God gave you, which is your body. So I think it is one of the hardest things to do, whether you are skinny, moderate build, bigger build, whatever it may be, it's one of the most challenging things. Even just getting into style, once you're even developed into a style, if you're a stylist, like building outfits for a client is one of the hardest things because it's not your body. You know your body best, but to dress another person, probably one of the most difficult things. So I'm just gonna go over some of the main points I wanted to cover in this video and we'll get straight into it. So one of the first things that I find is the most important with proportions in specific is comfort. I find building an outfit, regardless of what it may seem, comfort should be always the first and main focus. You feeling comfortable in the clothes and then also you comfortably enjoying what you like. Everyone's gonna have a different preference of what they enjoy out of outfits, colors, cuts, anything of that nature. So that should always be the primary focus and that's the most subjective thing. You know, like what I may like, you guys might not like at all. So that's the subjective nature of fashion and that's kind of the beauty of it all. So boom. A combination of comfort also equating like simple math, if that makes sense, which is like balancing everything that balances in dimensions, size and proportions, uh, making proportional pieces of an outfit. If a piece is wide on one side, you obviously want it to be wide on the other in order for it to match out. Comfort, math, if you wanna call it that, and then also uh, societal norms. Us as humans, we like to really conform to what society tells us to do. You don't have to, it depends on how comfortable you are with your personal style. You either fit into that mold or you don't, you go against the grain. So it really depends on the type of person that you are. But of course we all are human. We all care about what other people think of us. So we kind of keep that in the back of our heads without even thinking about it. It's kind of like a subconscious type of thing. So that's something to take into account when thinking of proportions and outfit building for your body so like i said before there's three type of builds kind of a skinny build moderate build and larger build i'm gonna cover kind of like a larger build because louis gonna chime in on what he thinks about when building outfits for his specific proportions and then also i'm more of a moderate build not hella skinny i'm a bit taller i'm like six foot but like i have a very standard body type like i'm not hella skinny i'm not like on the larger side so it's like kind of like uh that's what i would call a moderate build so we'll cover those two what is good and bad is very subjective like i was saying before so it's like everything is not easy dressing for a bigger body type dressing for moderate dressing for skinny all of it is not easy there's no advantages for anything so don't try to think of that like don't think that oh like because i'm not skinny i can't wear that it's just you have to find the right thing that works for you Boom. one of the main things i try to focus on is balance so moving out of moving out of the topics i was talking about before balance is kind of very key when building outfits uh you'll kind of see a lot of shapes come into play with outfit building hourglass is very common for women triangles is a very common thing when taking photos with fit pics and stuff like that i've talked about that before or even with outfits some people like reverse triangle with like a heavier top smaller bottom normal triangle smaller top bigger bottom and then hourglass is like flare out bottom and then heavy top but smaller waist or uh in that middle section so there's like a bunch of shapes that come into play uh even if you want to do like more bulbous stuff if it's like rounder on the top rounder on the bottom it really depends on what you want to go for with your personal body type and counterbalance the things that you might find are intrusive on your body or like that stand out too much that you don't personally fancy for example i have larger thighs and i like to counter that by obviously if a thigh is larger on the part of the leg on the upper part where your calves are my calves are skinnier so you would obviously like want to have a pant that either flares out or goes completely wide and then it gives the allure that your thighs are just a normal size if that makes sense uh, just thinking of things to counter balance what you're given is kind of the science that i go about with it and i'll just go over that with what louis and i put together with daily fits we'll kind of just go over what we personally like to enjoy and why some stuff might work on me versus why it might not work on louis and vice versa and that's just based on personal preference honestly at the end of the day you can wear whatever the hell you want don't take this as like a guide blue book uh it's just kind of some mental notes and uh what we think is important when thinking of outfit building for proportions so 
we'll get straight into it. Some of my fits will kind of go fit for fit with Louie and I and uh, get straight into it. So I'm just gonna break down what I'm wearing right now. This is kind of like some common things that I like to carry out in outfit building. So a personal favorite of mine is having kind of like cropped stuff. That's just like something I personally enjoy. It's not something that everyone likes. It's kind of like not super masculine. It's kind of like a little bit more on the feminine side, uh, but I think it could be done in a masculine way sometimes. So I have this Prada jacket, but most of the tops that I have tend to be a bit more on the crop side. Like I have this like 90s um, crew neck and it like falls at the same uh, waist length. And that's just something I do in proportion building because it makes my legs look a hell lot longer. You know what I mean? So as soon as, if I define where my waist is, it gives the allure that my legs are longer even though they are pretty long and then if you add that on top of like wearing like platform boots you know what i mean it kind of like just gives like this very hyper elongated silhouette even though i'm six foot like with the platform it makes me like six one and a, and a half maybe even six two but yeah it's just that's kind of a rule of thumb that i keep into account so yeah and then also on top of it having the flare going back to what i was saying by counterbalancing like i have wider thighs but like since it goes like this, it kind of goes like wider, cinched in at the knee and then it bellows out again. So it gives that shape, that definition, that kind of makes sense, you know? So yeah. Shout out old files. Yeah, shout out old files on this. Yeah, I could do a little outfit breakdown too. These are yeah. Bozo, um, Rick Owens, Chelsea boots, um, old files, flare pants, Prada cropped women's jacket, um, 90s vintage crew neck, uh, vintage white tee, and uh, Pan Gaiabi Chrome Jewelry. And then Louis will get into his first fit. So, since that would be the first fit, I cooked that up really quick, but uh, it's just something like I would wear a lot. I think like being on the bigger side, I like baggy, which is like, it looks good because it's not really, it's not too baggy, but it's like, especially pants. So that was like when me and Karen were talking about, it's like, I see sometimes a lot of like bigger guys going for like slim fit. And that when I say slim fit, I would say like majority, like let's say tight jeans or something. And I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look good. Like, it's like, I understand the proportion. This is the vision people have in their head. It's like when they wear their pants, they don't see like how people are seeing it. They just, when you look at your pants, you're just seeing like this, right? You just want to see like how tight it is. So, and it doesn't like, I, I would I probably had like one or two pair of like skinny pants before, like when I was a bit younger and everything. And I just probably to wear them like to go out and everything, but like you're not comfortable in it. And no one can tell me they're comfortable in like skinny pants. Like there's no way, especially if you're in a bigger dude size, like either the waist is gonna be uh, tight or like here on your legs, it's gonna be tight at some point. And you're just like going through the pain on it during the night and everything. So I just think, I think what's important is like wearing what makes you comfortable. I really like um, these cargos. Um, they're like from a no brand name and it just like they look nice if you want a skinnier silhouette without like going um, Tight on the top get them tailored like get probably like a little bit tailored on the um, On the side and everything but like you want like your legs to feel comfortable especially here like like I know a lot of us and a lot of you guys probably walk a lot during the day like if you're wearing this pair of pants in the middle of summer like you're walking a lot so you want to like be comfortable like and everything and it's like I think that's the most important like it's like you have space on the waist I can go up I can go down like I sometimes even they become a bit too big you can add a belt on it but I think like that I think for especially like some guys have like a skinnier bottom but they're built a bit bigger on the top like skinny jeans don't work like for me it doesn't work I'm not saying like I don't it won't work for anyone but I feel like you dress as you like and I think for me the way I dress is comfort so I like this car jacket a lot I like a lot of vintage cheese that's pretty my preferences like they're really comfortable I wasn't really a big vintage guy uh, before but like all of a sudden like, I just realized how comfortable they are and uh, I just been getting a lot like I like this like we said in a previous uh, video this bubbling tea really like it with a um, some kicks on low jacket you can close a jacket if you want i close it sometimes and just have it closed like this but then this is like just like it's just a comfortable fit i would say like i dress mostly out of comfort and i feel like a lot of people should do this and it's just like match your proportion like don't that's what i was telling uh i was telling karen this earlier 
a lot of my friends will put, like when we go shopping they'll buy they'll wear rick and anything but like i would try to say pair of rick pants but like they'll be a bit tight but i'm not gonna be like oh fuck because i want them because they're a rick or something they're not comfortable to me because i i'm seeing it like i need to wear it i'm gonna wear it and like if it's not comfortable for me i'm just like i don't want to pull the trigger especially on something that like i don't gain comfort on and i think that's like a lot of people like let's say like other brands like they're not like i would say a lot of higher brands high fashion brands are built for like let's say models kidney or figures and everything so of course they release like bigger sizes like we can go like on the pants like sometimes we'll do a 38 38 40 but like people will buy them just for the flair of it and have it like a bit like oversized and even the t-shirts like some t-shirts like don't even like they go like on the double xl side and triple xl like it's just not built and it's not really like it just it doesn't look right to me so i would say like when i go shopping i just i will go for something that gives me comfort and it just look good on my proportion like mm. i'll try brands and i'll be like okay let me order this like some brands like a lot of brands like they're just super comfortable and, like no mm. one knows them but it's like oh you wear it and like people will be like oh what is this and everything because it fits with your proportion but like you don't need to force yourself to wear something mm. if it doesn't fit you like don't don't force it to go up or like don't wear a t-shirt that's like too tight on you because it's just like uh, like it's not necessary yeah. like think about all these higher brands and everything but yeah i think i think it really like reflects in your confidence to say the least like for example like there's one brand that universally like looks good between louis and i like balenciaga is probably one of my favorite demna's cuts is just probably one of the most innovative because it's it fits a slender silhouette fits moderate fits larger it just universally fits everyone i don't know why it just kind of does like on a skinnier build it looks fucking sick on a larger guy like the fleeces on louis it looks amazing yeah you know i mean and then on me like it's one of my favorite brands right now and that's not out of hype that's like purely just like demna's just been at it for like mad years you know what i mean like he knows how to work it really well kanye too you know what i mean so i think those two oh, definitely also, know um well, like okay. off white before oh yeah for and sure like, yeah Virgil like, stuff, I could definitely. fit i could fit if i wanted like a skinnier belt i could mm -hmm. fit on a medium yep. on a t-shirt mm -hmm. but if i want something oversized i can get an xl but it's yeah. just gonna be big on me yeah. but like i tried a medium or a large and it just mm -hmm. fits like medium will be skinny large will be like fitting your body proportion mm -hmm. That's in my body proportion. I go XL, it's oversized. Like it goes here and like it's shiny. So it's like, that's why I was like, it could like, you had a lot of pieces. Like you could have, everyone could wear and everything. Even like Vetma to yeah. Fear of God, funny enough to like, even like, like essentials. That's why essentials works for a reason. You know what I mean? Like everyone obviously knocks essentials, but like bro, universally, it's like a sweatsuit and people love branding. Like that's a match made in heaven. Like everyone I think like, wants people, to feel it. A lot of people just don't like the, the over logo on it. Yeah. And it's just becoming popular. But yeah. I'm gonna be honest, like I, I, the only sweatpants I wear in the house and like when I go to class I just go for a coffee I want to be comfortable I don't want to throw like a pair of pants I just want like shorts or sweatpants the best one honestly I have like three pairs of the essential one just wear them you put them in a the wash you wear it. I was like getting coffee this morning I was having them on like it's just comfort yeah okay so this is my last outfit i would say uh my outfits in recent time have been either the other ones which is like flared pants or like wider cut pants and some type of boxy upper but another thing that i've been wearing a whole lot of recently is like tighter more like slender upper and then huge pants like super super wide super baggy and then also a platform boot of sorts so that it gives like this really bulky bulbous bottom and it, it kind of has to balance out with such wide pants you need like something that's more platform than chunky so i have the balenciaga crop boots that are louis at the moment we're trying to work out alone you know? <laughs> yeah. we're gonna figure it out and then we have these super bag baggy cargo pants from phase by finn really well known instagram seller right now for this type of vibe it's very like well known in the uk style scene right now especially with like women's like you can see like megs has been wearing them a whole lot and it just suits that like, like gorp core type of aesthetic but honestly I, I carry it into any type of style and then i paired it with this travis tadeo long sleeve that's a bit more tight but me like I, i'm not super built bro like I'm, i don't have muscles out the wazoo so like even like my chest it's not worked out all the way so like i like like a little, a little bit of looser. a flowy like a little looser if i do do it tight like for example i have this think this under armor tight shirt but it's patterned you know what i mean so you won't really necessarily notice it uh there's certain like little tricks and tips that you could do to like kind of mask the things that you're a bit more insecure about so this is a perfect idea of that is also going what i was saying with like my thighs like i have them a bit wider but you could not notice anything with this because of how crazy the pants are so yeah no, this, these pants are crazy love them super sick super super sick
All right. So you know, with this fit right now, I would say I wear, I like having like hoodies and a jacket on top, but especially like, I would say I would wear something like this more, like when I don't have like a winter jacket to wear, because we have winter six months of the year. So it's either like a rotation of jackets and boots. But again, we like white pants. Like I like these cargoes. I've been wearing them so much. I'm like, <laughs> I started getting like vintage and everything. <laughs> I got a new pair just to be so like, I like just wearing my clothes. I have the row of boots on like, Probably one of my favorite acquisitions this year. Really comfortable boots and like, you need boots in Canada here. I was like, this is my Canadian fit. Yeah. Like literally, <laughs> like I look like I work on a construction <laughs> site and everything. You have a little hoodie on there. I like this jacket and story about this jacket is crazy. Like I wanted this jacket, but it was Balenciaga and it was around like $3,000. And I was like, I'm not paying $3,000. So I went to like this um, equipment store, construction yeah, equipment. Yeah, construction we call it like, Marks. Uh, yeah, exactly. Marks. And they had the same exactly. Like if you compare it to the Balenciaga jacket, it's the same one. And this is like 50 bucks. Yeah. Uh, chrome on a beanie, chrome on a hoodie. I know I'm doing double chrome. <laughs> Didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, I like just the way it fits. Uh, yeah. The jacket, I can pull it back a little bit. Super flowy. You Sometimes, know? Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's different than the other one. The one I think is more formal. Yeah. Like with the jacket, I, like with a car, a car jacket, I can just close it. And this one is just like, just like super relaxed. Like when I go out at night, cause it gets cold here. Like yeah. I can go out at night, like five degrees. I just want more layers. I can remove this one, keep another one. So like, mm -hmm. really like this fit. I can rock it without a beanie too. I think the beanie is just like a I don't, like, sure. I don't wear beanie. Now, now summer's coming, so no more beanies. Yeah. But yeah, really, I think in terms of proportion, like again, I come to that comfortable. Yeah. Like this jacket is on a, a bigger size also. And I like, especially like, you know, like on the bigger dudes, it's so hard to like, you put a hoodie and you put a jacket on top. It doesn't, it's like you go both like the same size and you can go on a higher size. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I think this hoodie is just a bit thinner. So you can find like hoodies that are thinner, not like a big hoodie. Mm -hmm. This one like, is just like a zip up hoodie. So it's like just a bit thin. Yeah. Um, with this jacket like it doesn't close all the way nothing wrong with that like a lot of people just want to close it all the way i like keeping it open yeah. for sure like if you walk during it's cold like you want to close it doesn't really work but okay. i think this one yeah so yeah. roa just regular cargoes i'm not gonna say vintage they look vintage i yeah. made them vintage yeah. by wearing them and cleaning them all the time 50 bucks flannel that mm -hmm. looks like balenciaga that balenciaga if people ask you you say it's balenciaga <laughs> <laughs> Just a zip up hoodie doesn't need to be chrome. It could be just yeah. any hoodies. And I just like this fit. Yeah, it's just yeah. like. And I think like even if you want to com compare like Louis and I's likes for proportions, right? Like he likes more flowy uppers, like lots of layering. Yeah. I enjoy that sometimes too. But for example, like what might work for me might not work for Louis. Like he does not like cropped and obviously rightfully so. Like it's just not something that yeah. would flatter his proportions. You know what I mean? Like for me, like I like that because it defines where my waist is, but he has a longer torso. So like he can't wear cropped or like not that he can't, he just, it just flatters him better exactly. to wear like longer pieces, which yeah. makes more sense. And like for me, it doesn't do me any justice because then I have longer legs. It makes my legs look shorter. You know what I mean? So it's just like you take and give what you can uh, out of outfits and you kind of figure out your signs like as you go on it comes with like purchasing buying a bunch of clothes and then like figuring out your style and what works for you so that's pretty much the video yeah no yeah. It's, it's, it, i think it's important like i think the concept of this whole video is like comfort yeah honestly wear what's comfortable for you yeah like you'll get your style out but like you got all these pieces that you're not okay this is all comfortable and you mix them together and people will be like okay that looks it's all right and you're like you're perfectly like happy in what you're wearing mm -hmm. you're not forcing yourself to you're wear confident. something and yeah. confident yeah and it's like wear what's comfortable for you like you go like you want to wear clothes like i'll literally i'll be honest i wear sweatpants out of the day yeah because yeah. i work i go the pandemic out, like, pandemic uh, and like just come like i go to class and like it's comfortable yeah like i don't want to wear jeans i don't want to like exactly. i think when i go out like you're in a club it's dark like, like something that's come on now yeah literally like unless you're like put it in a formal setting or something that you have to dress up for then that's like kind of where you put class over comfort but for the most part like bro this is comfortable like it's just baggy pants like a flowy shirt and, a cool and beat, you know? don't be shy to like if you find that one piece that works for you just buy, buy it, it again bro. like, like <laughs> i have like these pants like i'm literally i'm buying all the colors because yeah. it's just comfortable i can get one pair of tailors but i want like a skinnier fit like you were telling like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. below tailor probably i'll do that to one pants get another one mm -hmm. like one of my friend literally only wear one pair of jeans and he has like five pair wears a diesel jeans like they're just comfy for yeah. him and he just has like a bunch of them yeah. i was literally gonna do like uh like a gallery depth dupe video like he has the the, the carhartt jacket that he was wearing he's like oh like i think it would look nice with like paint splatters on it so like one day we might like go and like add paint on it and then also in that same video we might show you guys like how to add the panels to your carpenter pants because like i think he had a pair that he wanted to do like these 
like similar like cargo yeah, yeah. pant or whatever and we wanted to add to like the panel so that i think it would like fall a lot nicer on his shoes yeah because like also oh yeah that's another thing i wanted to do who are your like style inspos you would say for like wider like wider cuts or larger larger guys that style up mm, that's a really good question i know you like wheezy yeah the producer wheezy, but wheezy, he, he, wheezy lost a lot of weight yeah he lost a lot he, of weight so he changed yeah. like uh but even back when he was a bit heavier i would like, be honest like crazy. an underrated one nestle bro Nestle dress is great crazy, for his body. That's true. That's like very crazy, true. Like crazy, crazy fit, and yeah. it's just like it used to like really work. And I think I I took a lot of style. Like you know, Yachty the too. The Yachty. Yeah. Yachty, yeah. like I would say, like he, even if he, like if he's like on a skinnier, like he's not in a skinny size. Yeah, he's, he's like, more like middle. moderate. Yeah, moderate, yeah. but he kind of like, like me. Lots, yeah, 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 lots of um, a lot. So I feel like by the at the time it's just like being around so many clothes, mm -hmm. and I tried, you know, buying like okay, I want to try this. Like mm -hmm. in my early days, like I was yeah, yeah. tried to like go we go out wear skinny jeans and everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, this is not comfortable. Yeah. Like like I said earlier, it's like literally you just it's a mental thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's like you see it and like your legs are skinny. So you're like okay, perfect. It mm -hmm. looks with the shoes and everything but you're not comfortable like you want to like you're in the club you know you're going out like you want to get your leg up like you're fucking <laughs> you guys un will understand what i'm trying to say and it's just like you're not comfy and it's like oh you're out for long hours and everything so it's just like i think it's going with brands that are not necessarily big mm -hmm. and vintage i like a lot of vintage and like just being comfortable like i can I should just be myself, like yeah. walking around. Like I don't need to impress every anyone. Literally. Just want to impress. I just like my style. And, like I didn't even know how to good style. Like I just wear like literally. Like I wear it. Get up in the morning, wear yeah. what I want. I'm comfortable. I'm out of the house. Yeah. No, but respectfully, you have like an amazing style. Like, Respect. Like, I didn't even know. You're the one no, 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 no. I'm telling you, bro. Like it's like about comfort, feeling confident in what you wear, and that's honestly the whole point of this video. So if you guys have any more questions, like we finally, finally did this video. So if there's any more questions, Louis will answer some stuff. I will answer some stuff in the yeah, comments. If you're like a bigger guy, moderate guy skinny guy whatever it may be we didn't touch on skinny too much but i feel like in so yeah it, it, yeah and like also like in society i find it's like skinny guys like bro it's just like easy for them to wear everything mm -hmm. but in the reality of things like one thing i know for example like with styling athletes and stuff like if you're a taller guy, especially more lanky, I find there's so many times we see like tunnel fits and stuff with like athletes and we're just like, oh, they're not dressing for their body because like they clearly see something that works for the masses, but it doesn't necessarily work for that person. And you it's so I mean? hard for them. Like, yeah, because they're built like literally like a like a tree, like yeah, it's super like, oh, tall. Like six foot seven. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. So I, I was it Shay? Shay. Shay dress. is the best. Like, for example, for like, let's say a skinny guy or someone that's super tall. Um, I would say Shay and Wisdom dress extremely well. Yeah, Shay is you know impressive. Mean? Like both of those two are great style and suppose me personally style and suppose uh, I would say like Lenny Kravitz, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Luca of course is a great one. Um, that's about it. I would say me. Bari. Bari too. Bari's goat for like moderate silhouette too because like he like for a baggy big, bigger guy suits well, skinny guy works well. Like I see like plenty of like guys from Korea and stuff like try to mimic his outfits and they're tiny dudes like size small they're wearing yeah. XL. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. Like but it works Bari, for Bari people. can alternate. That's what yeah, I found crazy. Yeah, like yeah, sometimes, yeah. like sometimes I'll just wear like a big pants but like sometimes I'll be wearing like the Louis car like the Louis pants the Louis Vuitton pants but they're like they're skinny in a certain mm -hmm. way but it's just like wear a jacket and I'm just like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's about, it's about like, yeah, confidence Personal at the end style. of the day. Personal style, confidence, and you elevate as time goes on. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to cut it here. Enjoy, like, subscribe, all of that. Peace. Peace. <laughs>